Hey, what's up, Rizin? Welcome hey, to the third week. Third week. Actually, it's right? the fourth week. Fourth week. Or fourth week. Yeah. Oh my God! Fourth week of uh, our, our remix VR updates for our uh, potential uses of the open source part. Uh, I think uh, last week, what did we discuss? We discussed some of the spaces stuff. Uh, uh, we discussed the initial UI that we have started building for people. Um, I think this today we're going to show a little bit more of the UI being done and more of the flow flow being done, right? Yeah, we'll be looking at uh, how how will we use the 360 image theme that we had created. Uh, we'll see how how to, how a user can create uh, their projects based on that, uh, and we'll also see uh, how easy is it to make projects using Remix VR. It's essentially just filling a form. Uh, yeah, and we also we okay. have also started working on a second uh, theme called the lesson theme, which will support different kind of content uh, based on the space you're viewing. So the part of that is completed, the API part. So this week we'll be looking at uh, the, the theme part and the front end part. Uh, there are a little bit difference uh, in terms of how it would work in the front end. Like the user has the option to choose what kind of space they want to create. Uh, so for example, in, in, the, in the current 360 image theme, you have just one type of space, which is a 360 image. You can just upload photospheres. But in the lesson theme, uh, you have the option to have uh, more than one type. So uh, maybe it's a 360 image, 360 video. So based on that, the uh, fields will change. So that part is in progress. And uh, this week, uh, we also have a, a little bit of uh, interaction with the teachers where we will be getting more feedback about our product uh, from the teachers themselves. So that is also happening this week. Oh, wow. OK. Nice. So so uh, where, which, which school exactly are we going to? Uh, we are going to a school in Trishur, uh, which is also my hometown. So we have. Uh, scheduled at end of this week one uh, a session with the teachers to introduce them to VR and also to the Remix VR and to get uh, some feedback about our product. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's very important for us, right? Yeah. All right, so uh, let me uh, share my screen and show you how to create uh, some of the projects using our current team. Okay. Can you see my screen? Yeah. All right. So what what we are looking at is the dashboard uh, for the Remix VR. So here uh, I have okay. created some projects before. So as you can see in the top, you can see from which template, which theme the project is based on, and uh, you can create okay. a new. So right now we are going to look at how to create a new project. So just okay. click on the create project button, enter your title. You select the theme. Currently we have one theme that is published, which is a 360 image. So we'll, uh, the developers or uh, anyone interested can create their own themes and publish to Remix your platform. So okay. we have the theme selected and we create a project. So by, by default, uh, it has already created the fields for us based on the themes config. So this okay. theme, it had the configuration to create a title and a photosphere field. So based okay. on that, the front end has generated these fields. So let's try uploading a photo and see uh, what happens. All right, so uh, that's about it. I just entered it and it's auto saved. And uh, let's see the project. So it's usually not this I just said because we're on Skype and on recording yeah. the call, it's kind of like a very heavy. Yeah, 
yeah exactly yeah so yeah as you can see uh the 360 image is visible and uh, our title is also visible here yeah and you, you can directly click the start button or if you're on vr headset you would have this cursor thing which you can mm -hmm. point at it and uh yeah that, that would disappear and you can see the whole thing and if you are on a vr browser this vr awesome. button you can just click on it and uh, it would give you 360 vr vr mode kind of uh, thing so that's about it so it's okay. easy as just so a form. can we let can me, let so, me, so the, so the yeah. title the ti yeah okay let me try updating the title also see how easy it is yeah can you write more than taj mahal can you write maybe like a description yeah. of taj mahal instead of that yeah yeah sure taj mahal. just copy a text like copy a text from somewhere and put sure. it there so that we can yeah so it's kind of like an introduction like you can add like an introduction uh sort of introduction info i don't know info what you would call it as card when someone goes into web so if a student is going into a web VR thing, the teacher can add, you know, an information uh, thing there. So uh, whatever text we just entered just appeared here. Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, this is just one theme. The styles can, that can be changed in some other theme, so it doesn't really matter what this current theme looks like. All of this can be updated uh, by the theme editor. Or, okay. uh, yeah. Okay. So, like, so what the best way to show that that can be uh, based on the feedback that can be updated. So it's not just oh, it looks like this, and you cannot change. That's not the situation. You can change based on the feedback. We will update the theme. So that so that it looks okay. better, and you can add more yeah. content. So basically, any theme like you know, if you want to create a theme that has like a way to adjust, you know, the the info screen or the text on the info screen or something. So all of that becomes a part of the config file, and right? Yeah, and uh, and how the themes code handles all those themes. Yeah. That's about it. So this this was okay. our uh, one of the themes, the 360 image theme. So next would be the 360 uh, lessons theme, which would uh, allow you to take different types of spaces. So instead of directly getting to the fields menu here, you would have the option to create mm -hmm. uh, a image kind of uh, space like you saw here, or a 360 video type of uh, space, uh, which would allow you to upload to this 360 videos. So that's it. And you can, the beauty of this thing is like you can just share the URL and it's immediately visible to anyone with a link. So, and you can view them in uh, the any VR headset that supports the VR, which is pretty much everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. So the next next thing next thing we're going to be working on is the lesson theme, right? So that teachers can create lessons. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, yeah, I think you know I think uh, we sh we'll see uh, will we have some some uh, live video stuff from the from the workshop or it's too to the internet is kind of not so good. Yeah, uh, that would be difficult to um, build manage. Okay. So we have to see how it goes. Okay, so. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to like just uh, get some feedback from teachers and we can add it to our next uh, update video. We can add some teacher feedback uh, and also like uh, it'll be good to. I, I don't know if we will finish the lesson UI by then, but at least if they can like. Think of some lesson and try to make it in VR, that would be cool. You know. Uh, uh, just as like a practice, I think that would be just. Okay, you know, I want to teach about Taj Mahal, just Taj Mahal, for example, right? And then, are they able to like generate a lesson from that? Uh, I don't know if it's possible by by this weekend, but uh, next weekend, sorry, or this weekend. This weekend. This weekend, okay. Yeah, I think that may not be possible, but if it is, that'd be great. Yeah, let's see what happens. Cool. All right, dude. Thanks for the update. Uh, I think things are going quite good. Uh, we still have to finish off the lesson theme. 
uh, and we have to we have to figure out a way to show this remixability idea. I think we still haven't really displayed that in mm-hmm. any in any demo or in any in any way. So I wanted to really think about that remixability thing because right now it seems like a, you know a theme based thing, but we haven't displayed how things can be remixed. Yeah, uh, one more thing that would happen is like there would be a project page which would not just show the actual content of the project but uh, details about the project. So in that page there would be a remix button which you can click and it would copy all the contents to your account. So you can edit the content and publish it later. I, I'm I'm just saying like. Yeah, I mean, I feel like just for people who come to our project, our open source project, and they're like wondering what what the hell does Remix mean, and like how can I take a theme and change it? Uh, we should have some kind of, I think, content around it, either like a tutorial on how to do it, or some examples on how to do it. Like 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 the way you said, right? Like now you take the 360 theme and you remix it into 360 plus I don't know two two information modules or like a different kind let's of say, let's say product. let's say if you if you saw the text uh, a simple example would be let's say if you saw the text in the Taj Mahal thing and you wanted it in a different language or something like that or different text entirely different text you want in that case you could just remix click on a button have all the content copy uh, into your project and just change the text and publish it that would be a, you will get a new link but all the content would remain the same except the ones you edited Okay. No, I, I'm just saying that we have to show that to to yeah. the people who are going to come to the thing because I think the feedback uh, I have gotten and also I think I shared it with you is like, okay, you know, the template thing is fine, you know, the all of that stuff is fine, but that that thing, you know, there are other other people who also can do it, you know, like Payframe itself has a bunch of templates, right? So it's not like we are doing anything exceptional around it. Uh, the exceptional part is the remixability part and the part that it is focused for teachers. So ease of use, ease of remixing, ease of creating a lesson. Those are like our big focuses as a, you know, as a platform as such, right? So I think we have to demonstrate those three things somehow, uh, either in our doc somewhere or in a blog post that people can refer to. So uh, I think of some ideas in how we can like really show the strength of this remixing option, right? Like, mm-hmm. what does it mean to have this remixing optionality? And how do we make it easy for a developer or a teacher to use it? I think that would be very, very useful for them. Um, and maybe before, maybe before the end of this this month, I think maybe oh no, it's too, it's too close. But um, at least we should have some idea of doing that. Otherwise, it becomes like, okay, what is the purpose of this whole, whole project, mm-hmm. right? Like, I mean, what we are doing, I mean, what we have built for, for now is kind of like we have taken a frame and built like some kind of back end around it, back end and front end around it, right? For the most mm-hmm. part. Um, so I think the question a lot of developers will be having is like, okay, why don't I just use a frame? Mm-hmm. You know, like for, for especially like a 360 photo, like it's not, and a 360 video, it's not very like revolutionary to have an open source. Yeah, um, it's in terms of, uh, it's not just a tech. Uh, so for example, let's say the teachers created this lessons on Remix your platform. And all the, what happens is like, it becomes a collection of lessons that any teacher can uh, refer to and doesn't need to create a, each of the lessons from scratch. They can just reuse the already existing uh, thing. So that's also one of the things, not just uh, the tech that we are improving, but it's also about uh, content. Yeah, but that's where like the remixing part comes in play, right? That's the that's the power of what we're trying to do, which is like, hey, you know what? If you have ten teachers that create uh, ten lessons, then a hundred teachers can take those ten lessons and modify it a little bit here and there to to yeah. create a lesson that is specific to them, right? They don't have to hire a developer. They don't have to learn how to code. They don't have to do anything. Because okay. we, are, we, are, we are saying that, you know, most lessons uh, or, or most things taught in most schools are kind of similar. They are, maybe the content is a little bit here and there, but uh, you can generally have that. So that remixing ability, uh, I don't think is demonstrated yet in, our, in whatever we have done. So we have to think of that, right? We have to think of, okay, how do we show, because 
how do we show that that power of that remix and thing? Um, yeah, that that would be key. I think in the next two two weeks we have to really find a find a way to to show that either through a, a you know like a video, uh, either through a blog post, either through like a conversation like we had. Uh, we are having. We have to show that, um, and then I think the next thing after that we are working on is creating like the first version of the global citizenship template. Once we finish the lesson template, um, so for that, you know, on my end, I have I have kind of completed one curriculum. Uh, I'm finishing. I mean, it's it's kind of done, but it it's 17 pages long. So it's you know I have to go through it a couple of times, make sure that you know it's. Um, it is according to the guidelines and stuff like that. So I, I I'm kind of done. It's there, um, and I probably by the end of this week or next week I'll do two. So this way I have to, we have two curriculums uh, around global citizenship uh, and VR and sharing of 360 photos and images. So I think uh, I think that would be good to have by the end of the by end of June. I think, right? Yeah. So. The focus is first the lesson template, then is examples of using the lesson template and the remixing capabilities. And I think the third part would be the first version of the global citizenship template. Uh, I think these three things uh, I think should be done, right? Like I don't think it should be, yeah. it should take more than that, I feel. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. Yeah, All right, dude, thanks a lot, man. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> don't, don't, don't look so, don't look so sad, dude. <laughs> sad. Cool. All right. So till next week, have fun in uh, uh, at home and like uh, hopefully we can get some good feedback from the teachers there. Mm -hmm. wow. All right. Bye. Yeah. Awesome. Bye.